Madonna was upstaged at her Super Bowl halftime show when guest performer M.I.A. extended her middle finger at the camera. How and when did we start calling this gesture flipping the bird? In the 1960s, though birds and the middle finger have long been associated with taunting. English audiences have expressed their dissatisfaction by hooting like owls or hissing like threatened geese for more than 700 years. The practice was so common by the early 19th century that Englishmen were using goose as a verb. By the mid-1800s, goose was generalized to bird, but was still limited to vocal jeering. The obscene gesture itself is far older. The middle finger became a symbol of the penis at least 2,500 years ago. In Aristophanes' 423 BC play The Clouds, the character Strepsiades jokes that when he was a boy, he kept time by tapping his phallus rather than his middle finger. Greek philosopher Diogenes showed his middle finger as a sign of disrespect to the orator Demosthenes a little later in the 4th century BCE. The ancient Greeks also associated the penis with birds, but there's little evidence that the connection extended to the middle finger. The ancient Romans called the middle finger Digitus Impudicus, or the impudent finger. In a show of superiority, eccentric Roman Emperor Caligula made senators kneel and kiss his middle finger, which was understood to represent his phallus. The Catholic Church made sure the gesture fell out of favor in the Middle Ages, but it was back and in the New World by 1886, when a pitcher for the Boston Bean Eaters flashed his middle finger in a team photo. And like so many versatile four-letter words, somewhere along the way, the middle finger and the bird became one and the same.